Yep, we pipe up this circuit. On the left here, we have a one, two, there's three ports on this one, and there's two states. Okay? In this state, output two is connected to three. When it's activated, that arrow shifts down, so one is connected to two, so the main air will travel through, through when it's activated. So it's got three ports, two states. This is a 3-2 valve. Solenoid, the top spring return, it's a 3-2 solenoid spring return valve. Okay. Activate electrically, and you push that switch, 12 volts activates the top, and one runs right on two. When that happens, we want this piston to move positive, it's something that move positive. So the air will come in here, that arrow will shoot across there, so the main air will travel up from one to four, so we're going to connect it in with the lacking cylinder there. Yeah. Want to use this signal to do two things. Make the, go, <coughs> make the cylinder go positive and use a, generate a pilot signal to make the cylinder go negative again. Right. The combination of using the unidirectional restrictor and the reservoir causes a delay. The unidirectional restrictor slows the air down. The reservoir makes the pressure drop. It takes a while for this to fill, so the pressure stays low, and it won't activate this one for a wee while, it causes a wee delay. To adjust the time delay, adjust the variable restrictor, or adjust the size of your reservoir, or add more reservoir. This is a five two valve. Five ports, Two states. Okay. Pilot, pilot. It's a 5 2 pilot, pilot valve. Now, if I want to make this piston go positive slowly, what I've got to do is add another unidirectional restrictor. And it goes here. With that little arrow pointing down the way. So, what we're doing. If you think of a bicycle pump, as that's coming out, this is going to slow down the air that's in here. As that moves over, this air has to leave, and it would leave down through the exhaust down through there. Okay. So that restrictor there will slow the exhaust air. Okay. It's always the exhaust air that we use to slow down a piston. If you don't slow down, if you use the the air going in, you might find your piston isn't fit to do the job you want it to do. 5 2 pilot pilot. The unidirectional restrictor and the reservoir delay a signal. To slow a piston, you slow the exhaust air. If you want to slow it going positive, it's on this end. If you want to slow it going negative, it's on this end. And that we are a thing points down away from the piston. 